Here are five comic books you can pick up that will add immediate value to your collection. Hey there, in this video I'll be reviewing five comic book value picks from early to mid-June 2022 that I shared on social media and compare the values I shared at the time with the current values in a retrospective format here so we can review how the values have changed since then. My goal with these comic book value picks is to try to select one book about once a day and share it if it meets the following criteria. First, the comic book has relative affordability with a low or minimal buy-in. Second, the value of the book has a wide range between the reported fair market value provided by cover price for a raw copy and the graded value of the book in a 9.8 provided by GPA. And third, the average value for a CGC 9.4 is high enough where the amount is at least at or above the cost to acquire the book after grading and shipping. The suggested price that I share is offered to you only as a guide to keep your purchasing budget in line with the value data. This means that the pick is only worthy of you pursuing it if you can acquire the book raw in near mint condition or in a 9.4, but hopefully a 9.6 or a 9.8 if you can, and you intend to send the book in for professional grading. Now, let's get to the picks. On June 9th, 2022, I shared Ms. Marvel number one, from November 2015, written by G. Willow Wilson, with pencils by Takeshi Maizawa, and cover art by Cliff Chang. This book's fair market value has risen $3, or 56%, up to $8.35. The last reported sale of this book in a CGC 9.8 remains at $100. On June 10, 2022, I shared X-Men number one, the special collector's edition from October 1991, written by Chris Claremont and Jim Lee, with pencils and cover art by Jim Lee. This book's fair market value has gained $3.95, up 35.2% to $15.17. However, the last sale of this book in a CGC 9.8 fell $9, down 8.26% to $100. The average value of this book in a CGC 9.4 lost $4.50 down 9.38% to $43.50. On June 11th, 2022, I shared Incredible Hulk number 377, the first appearance of Professor Hulk, from January 1991, written by Peter David, with pencils and cover art by Dale Keown. This book's fair market value took a significant hit down $35.46, or 71.46%, to $14.16. The last reported sale of this book in a CGC 9.8 tumbled $98, down 34.63%, to $185. On the bright side, the average value of this book in a CGC 9.4 gained $2, up 3.39% to $61. On June 12th, 2022, I shared Web of Spider-Man number 90 from July 1992, written by Howard Mackey with pencils by Alex Saviak and cover art by John Romita. This book features a hologram on the cover, which makes it difficult to acquire in high grade because the hologram is often scratched, which will often make it difficult to get this book graded in a 9.8. This book's fair market value rose $1.94, up 21.39% to $11.01. The last reported sale of this book in a CGC 9.8 fell $12, down 9.6% to $113. The average value of this book in a CGC 9.4 lost $4, down 7.62% to $48.50. And on June 13th, 2022, I shared New Avengers number 40, the first appearance of Varanki, from April 2008, written by Brian Michael Bendis, with pencils by Jim Chung and cover art by Alexi Bricklup. This book's fair market value fell $8.09, down 34.01% to $15.70. 
The last reported sale of this book in a CGC 9.8 fell $30, down 9.23% to $295. Also, the average value of this book in a CGC 9.4 lost $20, down 18.35% to $89. All right, those are the picks. Now, uh, there's a couple of interesting things here. So the first thing to note is that the two books that are tied directly to MCU characters, Professor Hulk and Varenki, the Scroll Queen, lost a significant amount of fair market value. And I'm talking about Hulk 377 and New Avengers 40. Uh, now, those books also lost in a 9.8. And the New Avengers lost 18% uh, of the 9.4 average. The Hulk went up $2.00. So kind of a break even. What's interesting there is that to me kind of holds up my philosophy on relative affordability. So uh, if all the values kind of fell together, then it should be even easier for you to acquire those books. They just don't have the same 9.8 value, but the range is still there. The, the range, the gap between fair market value and a 9.8. So in that sense, they're still good buys. They're just kind of dipping a little bit in fair market value and 9.8. But relatively speaking, those are still strong picks. The other three rows in fair market value, which is, I think, uh, understandable. Ms. Marvel number one, the show just wrapped on Disney+. Plus. So if you enjoyed the show and you're looking for um, some great Ms. Marvel comics, that uh, first issue from the 2015 series is a great pickup still in the $5 to $9 range and has a nice 9.8 uh, recent sale of $100, so there's still a, a pretty wide gap in terms of getting that book rated. X-Men number one, it's always going to be sort of a classic 90s nostalgic book, uh, so the fact that it rose um, in terms of fair market value, uh, that's great to see. It's sitting around $15 now in fair market value, so absolutely, if you can still find it at my suggested price, uh, I would jump on it. Uh, like Ms. Marvel number one, um, it has uh, about $100 uh, last reported sale in a 9.8, uh, but there's more risk there if you don't get it in a 9.8 because it did fall to the $43.50 average there. So I think that overall what I'm looking at is the milestones with which we have characters either rumored to appear in the MCU, you know, casting rumors, trailers, full-length feature films, Disney Plus series, significant character, lots of those different milestones. And it used to represent certain peaks and valleys in terms of uh, buying opportunity and value. And I'm starting to question those things. Like the, the Varenki news hasn't really changed. It's still there. Secret Invasion is probably going to be discussed at San Diego Comic-Con coming up. So we'll have to kind of see if that book picks back up. I still think it's a very strong buy if you really look at the fair market value of it being around $16. Even a last reported sale of $295 is fantastic. So that's a book that I would still look out for. And it has a strong 9.4 graded value uh, as well, uh, sitting at around $89. That's, that helps reduce the risk of acquiring that book in terms of getting it graded. So. So these are just some of the trends that I'm going to keep an eye on. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Moneyball Comics to receive these picks daily in your feed and watch the value pick retrospectives here on my channel. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting and see you next time.